Hi Aries, welcome to your Fool's Journey reading. It's a brand new year. Thought I'd do a little journey through the tarot. Let us see where you are at on your journey. You being the fool, that is. <laughs> okay, so uh, everything else you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Abundance, no, Love and Abundance Tarot. Love and support to him. Check him out. Show him some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, where are you at, Aries? Fool's journey. What's that doing in there? Okay. Oopsie. All right. Got it? Nope. How's that? Okay, Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, didn't move down a little bit, okay, Four of Swords, okay, so we got two Eights, two Fours, interesting, Seven of Cups, all right, Aries, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, nice. Oopsie. All right. Move that over there. So it's looking like um, you are in separation of some with somebody. Uh, it looks to be, for right now at least, it might very well be permanent if you so choose. Um, I'll tell you what, this is about you taking some time to regenerate, to heal, to just kind of have things be calm for a while for you, calm and stable for a while. And and uh, your, <laughs> your spirit and your higher self here have your back. <laughs> Intuitively, uh, they would like you to know that it is uh, you're doing what you should be doing and leaving this situation behind. Um, you've probably reached... A turning point and don't think for a second your intuition didn't have anything to do with that that was the four of wands that jumped reversed so this is uh, this is you walking away from a situation so that you can get back to taking care of yourself all right what's this seven of cups about this seven of cups three of pentacles right here what's this eight of wands this eight of wands, two of pentacles. Okay. This is four of swords. Eight of cups. Okay. This is four of pentacles. Let's see. The devil, that could be Capricorn. This is ace of pentacles. The tower, good for you. Three of Pentacles. Whoopsie. Ten of Cups. Okay, so you're like, uh, you're basically leaving a situation that was not good for you. For some of you, this might be somebody that only wants one aspect of you or one thing from a relationship. And you're just like, nope, because I really do want this stability. I really want a, long, a connection with somebody. And your person doesn't show enough interest here to want that with you. So don't bother. Don't waste your time. It's brand new year. Um, and you've got other, you've got a lot more fish to fry, so to speak. So this is you um, walking away from a situation where someone's just kind of iffy and kind of keeps things nebulous and unclear and wants to do their own thing. And you're just like, you know what? I, I get what you're saying, even though you're not saying it to me. I'm going to go ahead and take the hint. Um, if you're, if you've been losing some sleep over this and wondering what to do, don't. You know what to do. You know the answer is to um, stay under yourself. And by yourself and your intuition is kicking in, your higher self's kicking in saying, yeah, this is about you pulling back, getting back to basics with yourself, doing your own thing and uh, having your time, you calling the shots in your own life and you walking away from this, quite literally this breakup to become secure and whole again. Um, it's not about trying to fix this or drag it with you. This is you needing you need to walk away from this. Probably took its toll on you, so you can get back to basics. You can heal. 
Um, and also, there's a little bit of restoring your faith in humanity here. Just being like, I, I can't give any more to this. I can't do this anymore. And we got the Ace of Pentacles here. So, yay, stability restored. And there it is. Yeah. Needing to heal and fortify. And um, this, you might be a, a bit emotional about it now, but it did the reasoning or the realization that, yes, this was the right decision uh, will come very soon. If you're doubting yourself, don't. You're on the right path. This is you creating your own stability and security through your own effort um, without this person. And you, it could very well be that you go start dating again, but with this person, your journey has ended. Um, this is not, no, it just, it wasn't a good fit. They, they weren't committed enough and they did, they, they only wanted one thing, whatever that one thing was, they weren't making much of an effort anywhere else. So, all right, what else for Aries? So if you just ended something, it is good and right that you ended. All right, where are you headed though? Let's see, let's, where are you headed? Where's Aries headed? What the heck, why not? Aries headed. What's the next thing? Okay, so two of them here. Okay, so this ending and we got good things coming because I was gonna pull, um, I think it was I was going to pull this one, and this one came out also. So we've got the tower here too. So this ending, this upendedness, <laughs> leads you back to your stability. Um, it gives you a brand new start, kind of like you're on the fool's journey. <laughs> See what I did there? And uh, you've got good things coming, and this situation has set things back to rights and has put you back on the path of stability. So uh, good for you. Good for you for just shucking things that don't uh, suit this would only weigh you down and get in your way. And you've got good things coming. So <laughs> get ready. That's for Aries. Mm -hmm. um, there's that patience, that healing, that kind of keeping. I don't want to say keeping under yourself because it's not like happiness can only be found in solitude. I don't, I don't like that message where it's like, well, you know, you can only be truly happy if you're single. I don't believe that for one second. But I do think that this person was weighing you down. And I think it's better to be fortifying yourself under yourself weighing biding your wait waiting not waiting biding your time until you can find that connection that's worth you because the areas that i'm reading for you give a lot to a connection you don't take it lightly um and sometimes you have a tendency to have not you sometimes people tend to take advantage of that your effort things are very simple for you it either is or it isn't if it is you give your effort if it isn't it's like well that's kind of a letdown and sometimes you stay too long or you give effort after it too long but that's out of loyalty and because you got a heart the size of a watermelon but it is fair and just that you pull back and you refortify and you reinvest in yourself and you do your own thing and you create right now the stability for your own future this is you pulling back and, and you know how it says two halves make a whole I disagree I think it's two holes make a whole so this is you making yourself whole so that you can enter into the next relationship or connection with someone whatever that may be very secure from a very secure position not from a depleted exhausted and sad or compromised position And then there's the aspect too of just wanting some time for yourself after kind of a, an ordeal. You know what I mean? Kind of just a, a oof. I think you wish things could be different with this person, but where you're headed, this person can't come along unless they sort their business out. You can't do it for them. The dynamic was not healthy. Um, you probably would have liked much more of a say or feeling like you were much more on the same page with this person and they weren't, no, they weren't about that. So that's fine but now you're like well i don't want to have it any other way so i need to be under myself and do my own thing and thank you for your time what else for aries what else for aries oh i like it the abundant universe will provide yay <laughs> and we got the wheel of fortune yay Okay, good. This might have started off as someone doing the fade or kind of doing like the whole ghosting thing. Um, and you're kind of left waiting and wanting. Walk away. They're not, they're not making enough of an effort to sustain a healthy relationship with you. So, nope. 
This is you going off by yourself, doing your own thing. Your time is your own. Your energy belongs to you and rebuilding, being on sure footing. Aries. Most for Aries. Out with the old, in with the new. I like it. Yep. Broken relationship. Well, ended relationship. You two weren't on the same page. It was not a communal love. And then we've got um, Eight of Swords upright. So Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords. Wasn't there another Eight here? Eight of Wands. All right. So you could be, this could be a, a marriage that is ending. Um, or it's some kind of contractual relationship, like a committed partnership, live-in situation, that type of thing. But it was, it was pretty heavy duty. Um, or it could have been that there was the question of taking things to the next level. So it didn't have to be marriage, but taking things to that level where you two would be exclusive. And it, nope, I think that's where this person started to kind of back off or start the effort. They just weren't sure if they wanted to do that. Um, and so what they couldn't say out loud, the behavior started to show that they started, they started to act out what they didn't feel comfortable saying out loud. Their behavior showed that they just weren't all about that exclusive connection. So that's fine. Um, this is about you withdrawing and not giving any more energy to that situation and you staying under yourself. Epiphanies abound. This is, I mean, honestly, the universe will provide strength and the wheel of fortune <laughs> Yay! Start of a new year, new situation for you, off on good footing. All right, so if you're sweating the small stuff here, or if this is hurting, that's okay. It'll hurt for a little bit and then um, it'll pass and you've got good things coming to you, so keep your head up. This too shall pass. Ace of Pentacles, Strength, Wheel of Fortune, and the Abundant Universe will provide. I like it. Yay for that. All right, Aries. I don't want to say good riddance to bad trash, but don't beat yourself up too much over this. Just let it hurt and then let it move through you. Don't stay stuck there. You've got better things coming. Thank you for stopping by. Love and support to you. I hope this was helpful. Um, you are on your way, so chin up. Hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.